Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness with that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. And they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know actually some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop them in the comment below. I would be happy to make a video for you as well. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe. Or maybe now you should con consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections, highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring these expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. Or I'll give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the sections of videos I'm sharing, let it you be the judge, now respect your decision. But in this video, I will share something very unique as well, which is a circle menu, I mean categories carousel on your Shopify store that's very very customizable and it's completely free again. And yeah, you heard that right, you will be able to add your own circle menu, categories carousel or collections carousel on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and no applications involved. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations. By the video like 70 or 80, the team will be completely different. But now because it's a new chapter, I think I will reach that level by the video 20 or 30. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, including Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy all in one place. And it's filterable if I click on Google, only the reviews from Google, and so on for Amazon, Facebook, and Etsy. Or check out this recent sales notification right here, as you can see, that will show sales from multiple, I mean for multiple products on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, when it should show up or for how long it should show up and for who to show up to. And of course the colors and so on. And all of this without using a single application. Or check out this one that shows up right now, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and this one is triggered actually by the mouse cursor. Once it, it tracks the mouse cursor and it detects that user trying to close the page, then it will show up. And yes, by using your own code, no applications involved. So check out the channel for the million times. But let me close this and show you what I'm talking about, which is this one right here. A circle menu for your categories or collection page on your Shopify store, as you can see. And it has this hover effect and it has a, like a shadow effect below it. And it's carousel, of course, you can like swipe through them to check out all of them and it's actually a loop. So it will loop even if you have like five uh, categories or five collections, it will loop through them. So it will always show uh, new menu circles on this section and it's highly customizable I can. You can add a custom font to the heading and many, many more options. And let me quit talking and show you how it works and how to add it and explain every option that this section has. And again, it's completely free. So the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard. Because I already removed this, let me reload the page so you can see. As you can see, it's gone. I don't have it anymore. Let me show you how to add it. And I will explain each option on this uh, menu circle. I mean, circle menu <laughs> carousel, sorry. So the first thing you're going to do is get back to... As you can see, I was trying to get back to Shopify dashboard. And it shows me this pop-up because it actually detected the mouse cursor when I was trying to leave. Okay, you got your point here. Let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Because as I said, this is our own custom code, no applications involved here. And the next thing you're going to do, you see this folder right here on the left panel that says sections, simply click on it, then click on add new section. And it will show you this prompt where you can name your section and simply name it circle dash menu. Just like you see on the screen, click on done. Then it will create some code by default in the file. Simply remove the whole code. Make sure to remove everything. Do not leave even the closing bracket. It will cause some issues. Then the next thing you're going to do, you need to pass in the code for the circle menu categories or collection carousel. And to do that, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you'll see a link from my website. Click on it, then download the file. And you will get actually two files. Uh, one is the actual section. And the second one will be a PDF file, a guide that will guide you through everything in this section. So even if you're lazy to watch the video. And yeah, it's completely free. So simply download the file and after you did, open the file with any text editor. I mean the liquid, that liquid file, it will be actually called Orbit. 
orbit-carousel.liquid. Open that file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it and simply paste it in here. That's very easy, right? After that, click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. It saved it. Now we will get back to the team editor and edit because it's a section. So click on customize and here it is. It's already added because <laughs> I didn't remove it from here. I only removed the code for it just for video. Anyway, to add it, simply click anywhere on the, on the like the section where you want to add the section. Yeah, <laughs> then click on the plus button just like this and search for orbit, just like you see. And it will show up here, as you can see, orbit carousel by on how. And for my case, I already added. If, if you want to add it, just click on it. And here it is, as you can see. Let me remove this one. I don't want to keep two duplicates. And in here, this is the carousel, and this is how it looks like, as you can see. And you can, you can add up to 25 menus in here, which is the limit that Shopify allows you to add as blocks in sections. So let's just go over to options in here to show you what we have here. So the first one is heading options. So the section has a heading, and it says circle carousel. Uh, by default, it will be empty, actually. You can type in anything you want, and the custom font for it. So the custom font is very easy to implement. Simply find any font that you like online, download the file for it, then upload it to your Shop Shopify dashboard. Let me show you how. So after you access Shopify dashboard, click on content from the left section right here, then click on files, then simply drag the file in here and copy the link for it using this button right here. Let me actually do that. I use this one, copy it, then get back in here and simply paste it in this section. It's very simple, right? And the next one is the heading size, as you can see. And again, I have for the sizing options, I have two versions, one for the desktop and one for the mobile. And this is the case for all my sections, not this one. This is actually from feedback from people. They always want different sizes for mobile, and different sizes for desktop. So here you go. The first one is for desktop, the second one is for the mobile and the heading color. And this one, the option is the heading letter spacing. So the more I add, increase the number here, the pixels, it will add more space between the letters, as you can see. So this is a personal preference or depends on the, the, the phone you are using. In my case, I'm going to keep it just like this. And below is the layout option. If you want to show the navigation arrows or no, I'm talking about these ones, as you can see, because on mobile, you can actually use this, the finger to swipe through the menus. So if you want to disable this, make sure to uh, disable this one from this option. I'm going to keep it for demonstration. And the next option is the space between items, which is the space between the menus, as you can see. As I said, this is highly customizable section. So you can adjust the space. If I increase the number, it will add more space between the menus, as you can see. In my case, I don't like it like this. I'm going to decrease the number. Yeah, now it's perfect. And below is the items between uh, the space story between items for mobile. As I said, there is different options for mobile and desktop. So in my case, I'm going to keep it as default, which is 15. And below is the space above the pagination dots. And the next option is the space above the navigation arrows, which is the space in here, as you can see. So you can, uh, for example, if I decrease this number, it will reduce the space, as you can see. I'm gonna keep it like this for demonstration. And this one is the circle size, which is uh, how large the circles you want. If I increase the number, it will increase the size of the menus, as you can see. In my case, I like a 20, 120, just like this, it's perfect. And below, again, the size for the mobile. And this is the option for if you want to disable the shadow. As you can see, it has a shadow effect once I hover over them. If I can disable this, if I enable it, it's gone. As you can see, no more shadows. And this is very handy if you want to add transparent. Because, for example, this one, as you can see, is actually a transparent picture. That's why it looks like it's hovering and there is no circle around it. This is very handy if you want to add this effect. But for my case, I'm going to actually add the shadows. Let me click on set. Here it is. It's added. As you can see, I'm going to keep it like that. And below is the text size, which is the text for the names for the menus. If I increase this, it will increase the size, as you can see for the text. I'm going to keep it as 15. 15 is perfect. And below again for the mobile, same option but for the mobile. And below the space above the text, which is the space between the, 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 the name for the menu and the circle. I'm going to keep it as 15. It's perfect. And the text color, if you want to change the color for the text. And if you want to make the text bold, by default is bold. I'm going to keep it bold. I like it that way. And below is the section settings, which is the background for the section. I mean the background color for the section, sorry. It's by default white, which is the same as my Shopify store. I'm going to keep it as white. 
and below is the same options that every section has which is top spacing and bottom spacing I'm gonna keep them as zero because it's perfect now and the options here for lazy load images and this is very important make sure to keep this enabled it's very good and this one is for hiding the section on mobile in case you don't want to show this section on mobile you can enable this option and it will be hidden on mobile or if you want to hide the section on desktop you can enable this option and it will hide the section on desktop but for my case i wanted to keep it on both mobile and desktop and let me show you now how it looks like on the mobile so let me click on save first and let me switch to the mobile from here and here is how it looks like as you can see and you can swipe with your finger on the mobile and as you can see the space between items is too much let me decrease it yeah now it's much better as you can see now it's much better and you can swipe as I said with your finger or use the arrows as you can see and that's how you add your own circle menu categories or collection carousel on your Shopify store without using any applications and by using your own custom code so if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one